Hello and welcome to Quick Word. In today's episode, we're going to look at how to deal with hurts and pains and horrible pasts. In 1 Corinthians 10, the 13th verse, I read, There has no temptation taken you but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that you may be able to bear it. Oftentimes, every one of us, have gone through something from our past that really hurts us, that wounds us in ways which nobody has a clue. We are left scarred, we are left wounded. And sometimes just thinking about some of these events, it's as though it is still repeating itself, even in the present. But is there something we can do about the past? Does a horrible past translates to a horrible present and a horrible future? Is it possible for a man, for a woman, for a brother, for a sister to have a great life regardless of the past? Does the pains and the hurts from the past have to translate into bitterness and an ultimate frustration of the future? I say big no to every question asked. In fact, there are solutions. Today I want to speak to you about five things you can do to help you move away from that past. Yes, it hurts. Yes, it's painful. Yes, it pricks so hard. Yes, you feel it in a place and in a way no other person can understand. That's true. Yes, it happened at a point in your life where you wish it never did. But I have truths for you. You know, the Bible says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. There's a solution. We're going to take very slowly each and every of those phrases in that book we just read in 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter. And we're going to see how that one verse is enough healing for us if we can just agree to what it says. How? Can a brother or a sister who was hurt many years ago become healed today? How can a brother who was hurt or a sister who was hurt many years ago still have a great future? Is it possible to move beyond your past? The answer is yes. What do you do? Firstly, you have to realize Like that verse says, there is no temptation that is uncommon with man. Number one, you have to realize someone has been where you are. There's somebody who has felt what you feel. There is somebody who has gone through what you've gone through. Many times, a lot of folks feel, and I think that's one of the reasons it's difficult to move beyond because you feel like what you go through or have gone through, no other person went through it. But you have to realize, according to the word of God, I know you have to realize, we're speaking about a world population of over several billions over the last couple of years. And again, the Bible makes us realize that there is nothing new under the sun. Anything you're going through, believe me when I tell you, there is somebody who has gone through it, according to the word of God. And this is really true, and we can prove it statistically. And this is why sometimes part of healing therapy, when people go for healing therapy, you, you try to identify with other people who have been where you've been because just the knowledge that other people went through, it suddenly makes sense to you. You realize you're not the only one who has felt what you feel. So I want to tell you, the first thing you need to realize, the first truth you must come to terms with is that someone else has been there. And not just that someone was there, someone else came out from there. And if someone else did, it means you too can. The second thing you have to realize to help you to heal from hurts and pains from the past is to realize 
that God will not give you more than you can handle. God will not give you more than you can bear. I say this again. If it came to you, it's because you can handle it. Yes, I know that doesn't sound really nice. And when you've really been hurt, you wish it wasn't so. But that's really the truth. And sometimes the truth is not so much about how we feel, but actually what's the situation. It's because you could handle it. And you handled it, that's why you're watching this program. You handled it, that's why you're alive. You handled it, that's why you're not dead. Yes, I know there were some other bad things that happened. That's why you were hurt. But the truth is, you handled it. God will not give you what you cannot handle. Does that mean it was God who gave it? Not necessarily, but God exists, God lives, and God did see it. And if God didn't stop it, it's because he knew you were tough enough to bounce back from whatever came to you. That's the second thing you have to realize that if this thing came to me and I, and I still stand, then I have what it takes to come out of it. Hallelujah. The third thing you must do to heal from a wound or from a hurt of the past is you have to learn from whatever it is. This is one of the, the hardest part because sometimes it's difficult for people to learn from something that hurts them. Because all they have is a negative vibe and a negative energy towards that thing. You feel sad. You feel hurt. Every time you think about it, the, your, the, sense, the senses of learning are completely short. All you can think of is the pain and the hurt. But I tell you, if you learn to put that pain and hurt aside and confront it, you may find gold in that thing. There is something to learn from every incident that has happened in our life. How did Thomas Edison succeed in making the electric bulb? By the mistakes of his past. And he said something. His attitude was different. He says, For every of those 10,000 times where I failed, I knew I was closer to the solution. So he kept learning from all the past mistakes, from all the past hurts, from all the past failures, from all the past failed investments. Yes, it happened, but you can learn something. Just take your time, sit down and think, what can I learn? Not, don't switch quickly to hatred. Don't switch quickly, quickly to anger. Don't switch quickly to crying and hurting and pains and you know, fears. Think, what can I learn from a logical perspective? The fourth thing you have to know also is the fact that you have a choice. You have a choice. You have a choice. You can decide on everything I've said above and on the things I still have to say below. Sometimes folks think that their choice, their ability to choose is taken away from them. No, you have a choice. You do have a choice now. You may not have had a choice then, but you have, a, you have a choice now. You can choose to be happy. You can choose to learn from the incidences. You can choose to let go. You can choose to heal. You now have a choice. You are not refused to be a slave, refused to keep the excuse of, I am the way I am because of how. Refuse. To let yourself stay and remain based on what society or life threw at you. You can decide to be a better person regardless of the experiences you had. In that scripture it says, But God will make a way of escape. You have a choice to take the way of escape. You can come out of that situation. And the last thing you have to realize, very, very, very important. Point number five is you have to learn to focus on the future. When you focus on the future, you take, you literally take the power off of your past. Learn to focus on the future. If you focus on your future, it's impossible to look forward and backward at the same time. So if you would learn and master the art of focus into the future, you can't see the hurts and the pains of the past anymore. It's one way to take your eyes off of it, especially if you were also open to those healings and everything I've said from point number one to four, and then you decide to focus 
and to only look forward and to define yourself by the vision you see of you in the future where you take away from you you take away the visions and the definitions you receive from the past you become stronger those hurts and those pains that were supposed to break you they end up becoming pushes for you inspirations and motivations for you and they become strength for you i want to say this to somebody no matter what you've gone through you can come out a winner refuse to settle for excuses refuse to settle for um, explanations choose to create the life and the future you want and i can tell you one thing for sure you will not regret doing so and you will thank yourself for making that wise decision on behalf of yourself and on behalf of the, your generation to come because you would indeed have proven that you are an overcomer in this life and you would have proven that indeed all things work together for good and you would have proven that God was by your side even in the midst of the storms. It is on that note I want to leave you and to let you know that I love you and thank you for all you do. Please subscribe on the channel, help us to share this message may go on to bless somebody. Remember to comment, give your feedback and if there's anything you would like us to talk to you about, to address for you, feel free to comment or to let us know by any means possible. The Lord bless you. I love you. Until next time. Shalom.